everyone. Welcome back to Bits and Bob's Divination. My name is Caitlin and today we are going to be reading into the energy, insights, and guidance coming in for your week ahead. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so welcome back and welcome to 2021, everyone. It's a brand new year full of opportunities, excitement, empowerment, all this kind of stuff that we can start bringing in to the new year with this new outlook and new opportunity. So today we're going to be looking into your weekly messages and I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been supporting this channel so far. We've just hit over 250 subscribers over the holidays and I haven't yet been able to form say thank you. So this is me saying thank you. Thank you so much for the support. And to those of you who continually comment and like and continue to give support to this channel, I appreciate you so much and I see you. I see you. Thank you so much. And to those of you who are new and would like to join and continue to let this channel grow and so that we can continue to grow this beautiful community of tarot and charm loving people. Just so you know, to those of you who are new and watching, uh, my name is Caitlin and I use tools like tarot, oracle cards, handcrafted divination tools, and even these charms over here to come up with and to create these beautiful readings here on weekly readings that I come out with every single Monday. And if it doesn't come out on Monday, it's because I have a new monthly reading on your blessings coming out. And and I also do readings on timeless readings like your spiritual and magical gifts and abilities, what you're most proud of, and other ones I want to sprinkle in here on the new year. So if you're interested in any of that and would like to join this community, feel free to subscribe and join in. I'd love to have you guys here. Um, but today we're going to go ahead and start looking into your week with these beautiful piles. So let's go ahead and look at them. But just before we look at these piles, I do want to let you guys know and mention that my 2021 private and personal readings are continuing to go on for this week and this week only. So there are some wonderful readings that I'm offering right now on your 2021 to empower you, to give you the reflection of 2020, and to move you forward into the energy of 2021 for you personally. So if you're interested in any of these, I'll go ahead and show the three different ones that I'm offering on the screen right Right now, um, I'm offering ones on the entirety of 12 months through charms on what your next 12 months may be going with for each specific quarter of the year. And I'm also going to be offering a seven card reading that reflects on 2020 into 2021 and I personally use this one so you can check that one out as well and I also have a more affordable three card reading but it still packs a huge punch um, that tells you your 2020 the energy that you need to bridge over into 2021 um, and how to have those building blocks for 2020 into 2021, <laughs> it's a tongue twister there, um, that you can work with. So if you're interested in any of those, feel free to message me on Instagram through a comment down below or just to email me, which will all be down below as well. So you can check out the details on those, but let's go ahead and look at these piles. So for pile number one, we have this piece of rose quartz. And it's a raw form. It's very beautiful, very lovely, and great for self-love, things like that. Although these crystals and their properties do not necessarily reflect the piles, so you can just choose based off of intuition. So that is pile number one there. For pile number two, we have this little carved out elephant from um, blue stone. Um, blue gold stone to be more exact, but there's this beautiful little elephant here. So that is pile number two. And for pile number three, we have this beautiful and glitzy um, piece of azurite. And it's very beautiful, has these really low raised stones, but they definitely make a shine. So that is group number three. So those are the three different piles here of pile one, two, and three. We're going to go ahead and take a deep breath together so you can really connect with your intuition, connect with that gut feeling so you can really quiet your mind, relax, and choose the pile that's best for you. So let's go ahead and take that deep breath together now. Mm. 
And as always, if you are not new to this with me, I always let you guys know that you can choose any one of the piles that you feel drawn to. You can choose two of the piles, all three piles, choose just one, or you can choose a pile and change your mind. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Follow your intuition and it will lead you where you need to go. Um, And if you feel like it didn't, feel free to change your pile. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Um, But for those of you who already know which pile is for you, feel free to check down in the description below to find your timestamps or within the video itself, which I've provided, to find your specific pile and go to it. Um, But I also do want to let you guys know, as I've been mentioning lately, that there are lovely, wonderful links and other information that you can check out down below, like on my 2021 readings and prediction readings that I have out right now. And I will go ahead and let you get on with this video, but I did want to let you know that those are being offered right now. Um, So jump on them if you're interested. I'm definitely going to put a lot of love and effort into them if you decide. So feel free to check out the timestamps and all of that information below, and we'll go ahead and get started with pile number one. Hello group one, if you've decided to choose this piece of rose quartz, then this is the pile for you. I'm going to go ahead and set that down right here so you can see it during your reading here on the little block or a slice of wood rather. Uh, But today we are going to be using the charms, the watercolor affirmations. We're also going to be using the Sea Melodies Oracle deck, the Spellcasting Oracle, and the deck of choice today is the everyday witch tarot. Very magical, very fun. I love the imagery of this deck, so I'm really excited. I haven't actually got it out for a little while in the holiday season, so why not bring it out here in January to spice things up? So let's go ahead and start looking into your messages, group one. All right, so group one, group one, group one, we're looking for any energy, insights, guidance, Uh, For the week ahead, for group one here, what do we need to know? All right, so I was feeling both the seven of pentacles here and the king of swords. So let's see what else you have coming in for your week, group one. Group one, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in for group one's week ahead. What do we need to know about the week for group one? Group one, group one, group one. Okay, and you also have, oh, actually two here. So you have the emperor, and you also have here the fool. So those are your tarot cards for the week. We'll go ahead and start looking into your other um, different types of oracle messages here for the week and see what else we can bring in. So, group one, group one, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in for group one for their week ahead, having to do with the seven of pentacles, the king of swords, the emperor, or the fool. Group one, group one. Woof! You guys had a lot just fall out there, Um, but I'm feeling this top card. So your top card here is choose wisely, be discerning. You don't have to keep everything in your net, which is really good um, having coming up with the emperor and the king of swords because they are great at sorting those sorts of things out. Um, But we'll get more into that in a moment. So let's see what you have for your spell casting oracle message for the week. Group one. Group one here. All right, so you got two different messages here of prosperity and good luck. Um, I love the imagery of both of these cards. Just really this deck in general, it's gorgeous. But you have good luck and prosperity there. So that's beautiful to be seeing together. Um, But let's go ahead and look into your last message here um, before we do the charms later on in the reading. So stay tuned for those. Um, But group one, group one. Okay, so a few here. You honestly got way too many, so I'm going to go ahead and go one more time here. I think it was just clumped together. So group one, group one, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in for group one. All right, so you have here 
pause in the stillness and there's a little pause sign there pause in the stillness this is about being more mindful and taking time to pause and relook and re you know evaluate a situ reevaluate a situation so let's go ahead and start deep diving into these messages for your week group one and later on we will do the charms so what i think is interesting right off the bat is here would be good luck um card you have this cat that's like a black cat looking at you with all these different lucky symbols of ladybugs and dragonflies and acorns of abundance and these sunflowers and all this beautiful good luck and fortune and even abundance coming in too having to do with that prosperity right so they definitely feel linked um, but I think what's interesting is you have this little crown on the top of this cat's hat her cat's hat, cat's head. And um, then you also have two very important figures coming up here of both the emperor and the king of swords, right? So the king of swords is the type of person who gets stuff done, right? Like, or well, these two together anyway. So with the king of swords, he is less like emotionally inclined. So he's not the type of person to come to um, or emanate sort of um, empathic abilities or trying to be very like caring in that way but they do get what they need done so if you have chores that you need to get done if you have something that you're wanting to work towards in your career to bring out prosperity in your life if you have anything that you need to research to look deeper into if there's something you've been putting off lately especially because you have here the seven of pentacles which is about taking time off as well um, if you had to take some time off and pause in the stillness lately then that is okay because what you need in this stillness, what you need in this time off is really to just start looking deeper into something because right now you have that choose wisely, right? So choose wisely, be discerning. You do not have to keep everything in your net. Um, so if you feel like you're trying to to do, outdo yourself possibly trying to get too many projects done trying to lead too many things if you're in all these groups if you're trying to you know do this thing and that thing for your career and you're trying so hard to like get something going um you may be lucky in it and it may be be prosperous um but what is the cost what is the price of that um is it that you're going to be a little bit more cold towards people or have to put up these boundaries and sometimes you do need those things it just depends on your priorities this week and which way you want to go um whether you want to seek learning or if you want to try to balance this out and do not only learning but also take some time to pause in the stillness because you also have that black cat showing up here as well so good luck comes from pausing in the stillness taking that time to look deeper into um, what you're researching what you're working on what you are even doing you know what you want out of this career or that or project that's going to be more prosperous for you so what is it that you are trying to choose between that can give you good luck that can give you leadership that you can give you the ability to learn and to grow and what are you needing to eliminate from that pile right because right now you're looking at one book and you cannot do it all in one week so what do you need to choose um because you have to balance something out here there is a cost so definitely look into that this week but it is important to mention, too, that prosperity, we think of all these coins, right? This fountain of coins, this beauty, beautiful image of um, having it all. And prosperous, being prosperous does represent having a lot in money, right? But what is also important is it also talks about being prosperous in love, being prosperous in your family, being prosperous in growth, having a lot of prosperity in learning. So you have to decide what it is you're wanting to dive more deeply into. And that's going to be where your fool moment happens here of the fool, because the fool is about believing in yourself. It's about knowing who you are, what you want and what you're after so that you can just dive off this cliff and head your way. You don't need to take the sailboat. You don't need to take any other route. So this is about believing in yourself so much that you feel you really could just fly off this cliff. Not just could, but you can and will. Um, so it has a lot to do with willpower. It has a lot to do with belief and it has a lot to do with 
faith in yourself. Um, so really, I think you have the power and the ability to learn, to grow this week in your prosperity. You have a lot of good luck and abundance coming your way this week, um, but a lot of it comes from taking time to pause in the stillness, to grow that belief in yourself, to to move away doubt and worry and to have a more clear plan because the emperor also talks about clear planning as you can see as this chart of the stars and he is a planner he takes time he is very careful and wise about the decision the decisions that he makes and why he's leading the people towards whatever he's going towards so especially if you're working in something in your career in your family if you are the head of the household or something like that um where you're the top you know guy or girl or whoever it's important to make sure that the choices that you are making are going to be wise ones for those that are around you so that you can even bring out that good luck for people because good luck also comes from leadership as well, as you can see with the crown. So with all of that said, I'm going to go ahead and dive into your charm messages this week, group one. You have such lovely energy already coming in. A lot of it is talking about just making choices, being more wise in your choices, your leadership, and what you're wanting to learn and grow within to create that prosperity and good luck. So let's go ahead and look into your charm messages, group one. So group one, group one, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in for group one, group one. What do we need to know about group one for the week ahead? Group one here. Okie doke. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up the ones that fell off the board, which was actually quite a small amount here. Oh, goodness, you have good luck coming in again. Such good information here. Transformation. All right, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and start unveiling some of these messages in just a moment. Um, but yeah, just going to... Go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can see these messages even more deeply here with me today. Um, hopefully you can see all of them. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and start looking at your focus ring here for the week. So like I said, you had all these beautiful signs of good luck coming in. And if you have a king of swords in your life or if you are trying to emanate the king of swords or the emperor having to do with this crown, that is what's going to bring that good luck, especially if you're working with other spirit guides or things like that on the other side. Something like that, if you're working with that sort of signs and images and using your intuition this week, that's going to help you as well as the research. Um, because you have here the ladybug charm and here you have all these beautiful ladybugs just crawling up this grass you know crawling up higher to get to a higher vantage point too um, which can talk about you know seeing things more clearly and you have here not only the pearl but also you have here the um like family trees or ancestral tree or just talking about growth like a tree does where it takes a long time but you'll get there and you have a lot of leadership that a tree does you know all these different paths all these different people that you may be working with and you know what do their lives need where do you get prosperity for them or bring that good luck and leadership their way um, so you're trying to create a more clear path there trying to choose more wisely there um, the other thing about the pearl too and this um, specific charm of the family tree is you might be getting more clarity in your family tree this week too if you're looking into something like that um, because this pearl um, I don't know if you guys know this but with pearls if you rub your oils of your of your hands on a pearl um, it kind of like remembers it and the pearl will keep it forever sort of in a way so there's something about remembrance there and also connecting with your ancestors so that's definitely showing up here too especially if you're receiving signs from them you also have a butterfly showing up here, which can also be a symbol of that sort of thing of like signs if you don't usually see them through ladybugs or anything like that, but other insect related ones. But you do have here the um, transformational 
uh, butterfly, there it is, the transformational butterfly, because you can see you're growing, you know, these wings are growing, your outreach as well is growing. So where you're touching people in terms of like their lives and what that means to them. So if you are a boss of someone or you have higher leadership or anything like that, how are you making more wise steps for not only yourself and your own prosperity, but how are you helping them along their path, you know, so that you can all sort of grow together. So that's also showing up there, a transformation or change within what your leadership looks like or where um, you're making those decisions and if you're more of a follower if you're following someone who is having leadership this week over you there is good luck coming their way to cre- create more prosperity for you so you can look out for that as well and work more deeply with them um, you also have the selfless charm showing up here which I mean is pretty self-explanatory as well seeing as you have so many charms talking about that good luck and um, putting more of yourself serving more of yourself to help the greater good of of all on on your your team that you're working with here so that could be like I said head of the household or a family member that you are helping out some sort of leadership role there or mentoring role is showing up here where you're being more selfless giving more of yourself to others to serve and you have a lot of kindness coming in this week as well because you have the kindness charm and this is these two really beautiful little mittens with these little hearts and it makes me feel like when you give someone mittens or you hold someone's hand you give them comfort you give them um kindness of some sort you reach out your hand to help in kindness so you may be helping in a more bigger larger global scale so if you're helping like signing petitions or going out helping people um, during this time of the year especially in the winter helping people out in that way through donating or using services or anything like that that might be coming in for you but more on a personal level this can also be a friendship charm so being more aware of what your friends need and how you can help them out be more caring and give more of your time to them this week um, as well as receiving kindness back too it comes back in a karmic cycle there but there is no doubt you guys aren't having some prosperity coming in here because you have three different coins showing up. Um, so you have one coin here that says one cent and then you have the penny again. So you're doubling your money. And then on top of that, you have the 25 cents, which is the largest coin I have within the charms. So it really does showcase this growth that is happening and it may not all happen today you not you may not get that prosperity within this week but you are heading there with the wiser decisions that you're making with the chores that you're getting done bills you're paying things like that in the background getting some of that stuff that nobody wants to do um, like doing the research on how to gain more or things like that those practical things but you are heading there because you're making these more wise decisions and you're balancing things out this week like I said you needed to balance pause in the stillness and that's where that that wisdom's going to come in because you may have been go 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 for so long especially through this holiday season that you haven't had time to take a breath to chill out and balance things back out that you need to um because you have the balancing flamingo here of balancing on one leg and trying to make things work and it's time to put both legs down and really look at the situation more wisely so you also have another charm in here that says thou shall not kill um, and this doesn't mean that you're killing anything it may mean that you're purging something from that pile like I said with those stacks of books that we had here with the king of swords you may have to you know sort of like kill in a way or put something away or just tr take some time to realize what you can control what you can't control um, within your business within your life whatever it is that you need to sort of purge things out clean things out to create that balance because like I said if you try to do everything there is going to be that cost um, and so whether or not that cost is going to be towards um, something that has to do with a more emotional sense may be coming in but I think that you just have a cost there to gain prosperity you, there could be the cost of not being able to see friends not being able to be there for someone else um, so making sure to balance some of that out this week is really important because you also have the charm of miscommunication right under that thou shall not kill 
And the miscommunication charm is because I personally cannot read this language, so it feels like you're speaking another language to someone. So someone may not be able to understand that you're trying to create something new or trying that you're going to have to maybe get rid of a project or put something aside for now so you can put all of your focus towards something else. So you're definitely balancing things out, finding the costs of not researching or doing the research or, you know, whatever it is that is specific to you, um, you're finding out what that cost is and what those puzzle pieces are that create that that whole picture that you need because you need to pause to find it. Um, you know, things need to come in more black and white so you can really see the borders of what is working and what isn't working for you at this time. And it doesn't mean that you can't come back to these projects. It doesn't mean you can't, um, you know, come back to them. But you cannot entirely believe in yourself if you're doubting everything you're doing because there's just too much to be done, right? So maybe that's even starting an entirely new project because the fool does talk about taking a leap on something that may be more risky that you maybe haven't tried before. And good luck is definitely, again, on your side this week. So trying something new actually is not a bad idea. And that even could be something just for breath work or for pausing or something that you've never tried before, like meditation. So it could be something that's not even career based. Um, lastly here, you have a few other charms of the closure charm, a J. Um, so you may be someone who has the letter J in their name or something like that, but you have the letter J falling on the action moon, and then you have the closure charm, which means putting something to rest, right? So something that you may be putting to rest, like I said, you're trying to figure out those costs, those balances, what you need and what you're purging out, um, may have to come from something that is a J, and so you're putting action into putting that away for now. Um, you also have the lucky, <laughs> so much luck in your week, um, the lucky clover, um, I'm going to say charm, but, oh, that's what it is, a key, <laughs> could not come up with the word, the lucky clover key, so it, it's also, again, coming in that you have the power not only to wait for luck to come, but to bring that luck yourself, too, by working with other ancestors or working with these signs that are coming your way and using your intuition in that way, and lastly here, you have the purging or cleansing charm because this is a washer so you may feel a little wishy-washy about something right now or that you need to wash something up or clean something up so that you can create that balance again right so you're again using a key um, to decide what you need to let go of because you have here the bottled up charm so this could be bottled up emotions it could be that you're bottling up just way too much on your load this gives me 10 of wands vibes you've got just way too much you need to set something down um, so you can pause and chill and calm down um, so you're cleaning things out you're cleansing your space your mental space your projects what needs to go and what needs to stay right so that's your big message this week is to just clean things out pause in the stillness calm down so let's go ahead and do a recap here for you group one so you have lots of prosperity coming your way but the only way to have that prosperity to come in is to listen to the signs that your ancestors that the universe is bringing in or that you are bringing in through a leadership role or someone around you who is a leader that is mentoring you in a way that's going to help you create this prosperity in your life as time continues on um, as these pennies continue to build up and build up to become a quarter um, maybe even the quarter of the year too um, so then you also have here the emperor which is all about planning making plans making solid plans for leadership as well so you may be an entrepreneur or someone who is trying to lead a group of people um, a family of people things like that and you're trying to make more wise decisions so that you can help them as well um, and then you also have the king of swords doing the same thing but in this case it's more about research about purging things out cleaning your space and what you need need and do not need to balance back out your life here 
because you may feel like you are battling between these two energies. The Seven of Pentacles is about taking time off, rest, read that book, learn some more in the stillness about yourself so you can make those wise decisions and so you can believe in yourself with less doubt, less worry, less anxiety about how much you are trying to hold on to or trying to pursue all at once. Um, so definitely just pause, chill out, have that wisdom come in and that good luck and that intuition is going to be sparked. So with all of that said, I hope you enjoyed this reading here at group one. You guys had a lot going on for your week, although they were connected. You did have a lot of energy coming in. So it is definitely important to take that time that you need. And I'm wishing you the best for that. Um, please be sure to give this video a like if you did like it and you enjoyed this reading here with me today. It really does help this channel continue to grow and I really do appreciate it. Also, if you want to talk charms or talk about tarot or any of these different messages that came in, I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on this reading and the feedback would be lovely all the way down in the comments. I would love to read them and love to hear from you guys. And lastly, if you are new to the channel and this is one of your very first videos here with me, welcome to the channel. Big, big welcome. Welcome to the new year as well. Um, I'm currently doing private readings that you can check out on my Instagram on your 2021 um, year as a whole. And then I also do readings like this on your weekly forecast every single Monday unless I'm doing a monthly reading on your blessings for the month. And I also do sprinkle in a few other extra videos as well um, and timeless readings. So if you're interested in any and all of that, feel free to subscribe and join this community of charm and tarot and oracle loving people. I'd love to have you guys here. And with all of that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hello group two. If you've decided to choose this little elephant in this blue gold stone, then this is the pile for you. I'm going to go ahead and set this cutie little patootie right over here um, so you can see this elephant during the reading. As today, we are going to be using the charms, the watercolor affirmations. We're also going to be using the Sea Melodies deck, the Spellcasting Oracle, and this beautiful magical um, I just love the images of this deck of the Everyday Witch Tarot, so we're going to be using this one here today to spice up this beautiful week. So let's go ahead and start looking into your messages, group two. So group two, group two, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in for group two. All right, so you had one here that fell, and it is the Four of Cups. Let's see what else you have coming in for the energy of your week, group two. So group two, group two, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance. You also have here temperance, and the number there for temperance is 14. Let's see what else. So group two, group two, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in. And you also have the Page of Pentacles here. So the Page of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and 14 with Temperance. Let's go ahead and start looking into your next message here. The C Melodies deck. So group two, group two, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in for group two's week ahead. The week ahead for group two. Any energy or insights regarding this Four of Cups, Temperance, or the Page of Pentacles here for Group 2. Okay. Oh. This one here. And it says, the tide will come in when it's ready and it's patience. With these cute little turtles. So slow and steady, patient energy there. And let's see your final, or actually almost final message here, because we still have the watercolor affirmations, but the secret, or see, wow, words, the um, spell casting oracle. So group two, group two, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in for group two here. 
All right, so you had too many fall there, so we're going to keep going. Group two, group two, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance for group two on the week ahead. The week ahead for group two. Okay, so you have two here of inspiration and of commitment. So you have two different messages there. And then we will look into your watercolor affirmation here. But later on in the video and in this reading, we'll be doing your charms. So stay tuned for those. But here, group two, group two, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in for group two for their week ahead. The week ahead for group two. Oof. All right, so this was the first one that fell here. But you also had another one that I was really feeling here. So you have believe in yourself. And then you also have here, if it'll show up, um, what if. So believe in yourself and what if. So those are your two different messages there. Let's go ahead and start diving deep into your week group two. All right, so you have similar messages to group one, although more refined than group one. So feel free if you were kind of juggling between group one or two, feel free to maybe watch both and see what comes up there for you. But um, at the center of your week here, we had here the four of cups. And the four of cups, sometimes I call the pessimistic sort of side of ourselves where we feel like things just didn't go right or we don't have things right or that perfectionist. Um, so you may feel like you're feeling that perfectionism coming in this week or that anxiety that you're not having everything come in right or not every cup here is perfectly chosen or perfectly right for you. Um, and there's doubt that comes from that as well. Um, but the thing that's important, too, that happens within this card is you can see that there is another person coming in to give you an opportunity. And you may feel like you've missed an opportunity or you feel like your opportunities are very scarce or not ones in which you feel like you or ones that you feel like you have to stick to because of the commitments that you have towards them in your life right now. And it may be just that that inspiration has been lost that you feel like wherever that it, that inspiration came from for what you were working on feels like it's lost because of this perfectionism, because of this feeling of like you have to do it all perfectly right or that things just weren't the opportunities that you were expecting. Um and that's like that inspiration and that feeling of commitment may have been lost. They may not feel as linked as they once did. Um, and so there is a, this um, challenging part of the week that comes from that of trying to decide if this new opportunity is one that you still wish to pursue or if it's one that isn't a commitment you want to, to still yield. Um, but you have here someone that is bringing an opportunity for you, a way out or at least some help against this feeling that things are not turning out in the way that you had once wished. Um, but you do have patience coming in here too. And so things may change if you uh, take the time to be patient enough for them to change too. Because like I said, you may be feeling pessimistic or trying to rush things or things just aren't the opportunities you were expecting. So if you're patient and you wait a little while, if you feel like there's an opportunity that you've been seeking lately, especially something to do with career or something to do with um, something you're waiting on, like in the mail, or if you're waiting for you to be able to buy that fancy thing that you've been waiting to have the opportunity to work with. So like for me, it'd be lovely to have like a new camera or a new craft supply or new tarot decks or things like that there may be things that are going to help me in my career or help me um, within this path that I'm on but you may just feel a little stuck right like you're trying to figure out where you're going to go the other thing too is you may be feeling that perfectionism coming in but what's great about the page of pentacles that may be changing for you is with this new opportunity you may feel like you can just go with the wind versus keep to the map because they're not looking at the map anymore they're not looking directly at everything that may have not gone right or where you've gone before where you're heading and all of that that a map would show right 
it's more that you're looking towards the wind. Where's where are you heading through an intuitive sense? Because you have them just um tossing a coin here and whatever coin tells you whatever the coin tells you is going to be the path that you head on, which direction you're now going to go. So it may just be that you have to change this mindset over because you have opportunity, you have places to go, there are new paths um, that may be commitments that you would enjoy much further and would inspire you much further. If only you take the time to stop looking and analyzing and diving so deeply into everything that you see here within these cups, where you feel like you may not feel as fulfilled as you'd like to. Another part of your week that is coming in here too is with that what if too, like right? So what if you took a different path? What if you just, just, you know, play with the opportunity, humor yourself, just see like if you flipped a coin, what would you feel bad that you got one side or the other? Or would it, does it actually even matter to you? And maybe you've been overanalyzing something that really doesn't have that much weight over you. I mean, it may just be that that tide is changing. Like they said here, the tide will come when it's ready. And so you're just changing that tide. You're waiting for that tide to come in and having that patience um, for this new opportunity to sort of switch over. So you may just be in this weird like limbo zone of perfectionism. And within this limbo zone, you have newer opportunities here that you could be seeking outside of whatever it is that you've been you know, deeply looking at and over analyzing because in this patience, you have the opportunity for temperance and temperance is about finding the warm. So you have the cool and the hot and it's finding the warmth. And if you've ever had a faucet that sometimes, you know, you just barely turn it this way and barely turn it that way and you can't find that perfect medium of water or temperature, this is the week to try to find that, to try to find that balance Um, And that may be balancing, you know, especially with these New Year resolutions and all of these ads and all these places telling us to work on our body or to get more fit or to work on this in their business or in their home or their thing. And you may be overanalyzing your life because things have changed and now we're in this new year and it's like, oh, what opportunities do I have? What have I not gone for? What if, what if, what if in the the possibility of things that you do not believe in yourself for, but instead believing in yourself like what if? it did work out, right? So there is temperance, right? So you have these cupcakes or you can have things that are more, you know, you can have the sugary stuff or you can have the healthy stuff and it feels like you can only have one or the other. And temperance isn't about only having hot, only having cold. It's about finding that middle ground, finding things within moderation. So what have you been over analyzing or over pursuing Where can you find balance within that and shift it to something that can be more healthy for you? And vice versa, I mean, you don't want to also feel like you have no inspiration or no commitments towards things that you want to work towards. It's just finding that healthy balance for you. And that can be list making or just deciding what those resolutions are, deciding where it is that you, what path it is that you are going on. And that may be through just flipping a coin and being a little bit more playful about it like this page is showing here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to your charms group one or group two here, excuse me, group two, and we will start looking into more of the messages that you have this week, maybe ways in which you can bring this hot and cold into that warmth for you. All right, so group two, group two, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in for group two here, group two. For their week ahead, the week ahead for group two. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the ones that fell off the board here first so that we can start looking at more of these messages here. So I'm going to pick up the ones that fell upside down so you can see more here. Okay, okay. Lots more charms than I was expecting, honestly. Um, So, yeah. Sometimes I cast them and you get like one or two and then sometimes it's like a whole bundle of them like you have here. So, okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in so you can see more of the messages here for yourself. 
so that we can start deep diving into what is here. Don't worry, there's nothing you're missing up there. So the first thing that I'm seeing here is you have um, the don't jump the gun charm. So it's like this little gun. It's about don't jumping, don't jump the gun. Don't try to go too quickly or too fast or try to beat the race before it is over because it's about balancing things out this week and being patient, right? So you had that patience come in and that's coming up again here in your central ring. Um, you also have the charm of the giraffe, which the giraffe is all about finding and seeking a higher perspective. So that may be talking to your higher self, that may be connecting with higher energies, um, but it also can be just literally finding a, a more broad perspective for yourself. So brain mapping is a great way to practically do this. So if you ever did those like web maps or brain maps as a kid, it's like if you feel like there's a, this new opportunity coming in and you don't really know where to go or you feel a little stuck like this cage is showcasing where you feel a little stuck like you're overanalyzing, instead analyze less deeply into one specific thing and see all the other opportunities that are still there and awaken you um, that you can be inspired by again, but yet you've been you know, too focused on one little part of the whole. So it's about finding more broader perspective here for you this week. And even with that commitment charm too, you may just feel like you have too many commitments at this time. You've committed your time to too many people or too many places or too many things. And you may just feel like you have too many commitments as well. And people might just be serving you, you know, keep serving things that you, you, you need that time off. You need that time to take time to balance and find that temperance, right? So you may just feel like these cups aren't even just that something that you're overanalyzing, but something that you are forced to sort of continue to pursue. And it may feel heavy for you because you have the heavy charm. So this is an actual very heavy charm. You can't really tell on camera, but it is quite heavy. And so it makes me think of when you feel that things are heavy, your chest may feel more heavy. You may just feel that anxiety or that pressure that comes from these commitments. So it's about finding balance and moderation. You don't need to pursue every single one. It's just flipping that coin, finding what you can do, what you can't do, and just serving yourself for your highest good this week because it's not for your highest good if you're up all night working on every single project that you, you just really don't have time for in these commitments. You also have the locket, which means that there may be an opportunity or a memory that you feel like you've sort of locked out recently because it is closed up and closed to you. The other thing about a locket too is it's about bringing a memory with you. So you may just be remembering things this week or um, remembering people or trying to bring their energy to the table um, because with jewelry sometimes we can wear it to evoke an energy or to bring an energy with us right so like I wear my grandma's rings to bring her with me so you may have some of that energy coming in for you this week you also have here lastly in your central ring the mini charm so this is about like empowerment that Minnie sort of has she's also very playful and also has a lot of fun energy to her but the other thing about this mini hat too is it's like glitz and glam and all done out so maybe you just need to have like a glam night or something where you really have that self-care come in where you do the, the the face masks and the all the stuff you know you just do all the stunts that are going to be good for you so you may have some self-care coming in in that way that isn't like necessarily self-care um where you're trying to take care of yourself on a very deep shadow level but instead on a more surface level, like what do you need? Do you need to take a shower? Do you need to just take care of your face? Um, you know, smaller little things that add up and can help you feel better and more refreshed in that temperance way. Oh, I just realized this one was upside down, so I picked that one up real quick. Um, you have Scorpio coming up here, and it is, um, or sorry, not Scorpio, Virgo. They're so similar sometimes, but you have Virgo showing up here. But instead of as like an actual person, it is the energy of a Virgo and practicality, right? So like I was saying, make those brain maps. Take some time to clear your schedule if you've overburdened yourself, overanalyzed everything that you're doing, and just take some time to be practical. Um, but practical also not just towards what you're pursuing and what paths you're pursuing and the commitments, but being practical about those commitments that you can make time for yourself because you have more self-care coming up here as well with water energy. So some of you may want to go to water, go to a lake, go to a river, go to the ocean, 
or connect with water in another way um, to connect back to your emotions because sometimes when we overanalyze things and some of that anxiety may come in or that feeling of what if in a more negative and less healthy way we don't take time to take care of our emotional side of that that toll that comes from overanalyzing so if you just bridge some of that back push some of that back take some time to let the waves come in and out breathing let's breathe together right like it's just you feel heavy right and we need to lighten that load this week um you also have the ace of pen or sorry the ace of um cups here so again cups have to do with our emotions and opening up on an emotional level so you are opening yourself to being more emotional versus only practical so it needs to work on both sides like i said not just hot not just cold but working in the middle to find that middle ground that's going to bring balance for you you also have the letter y here and the letter y um, may have to do with a name or a place or somewhere that you may be going or heading in your projects or commitments but it also why makes me think of that what if that questioning energy that why why am I doing this what am I doing where is it going that kind of stuff so it may be again you over analyzing in a negative less healthy way and instead to analyze on a whole scale right versus just the one small question that's just you know digging at you and creating that like heavy feeling because you have the 10 of one sort of energy coming up here or the even the 10 of um the 10 of swords here because this is where you are there's just you're stretched too thin right like this isn't going to work as a bobby pin anymore because it's been stretched too thin and you need to make sure that you can still work that you can still live your life without having all of this you know, energy just overburdening you. So that's coming up there as well. And it's it's really that you're trying to connect these two and finding out why you feel this way and where that's coming in. You also have, again, more opening up your heart, opening up your mind so you can find more clarity because you have the charm of the open heart or opening your heart. So this can even connect with that locket too and opening up a memory or something like that that may just jumpstart this temperance energy for you. Um, You also have gifts coming in. So some of you may not be finished with the holidays or maybe you're using a gift this week um, that you previously have got. You have gifts or good luck kind of energy coming in or just someone gifting to you or gifting their time and energy, especially with that opportunity possibly coming in. Um, that someone may be gifting you you also have the thou shall not steal right next to the tower or manipulated charm so make sure that no one is trying to steal your time your energy anything like that and trying to just get away with it this week um, because they may feel like they're manipulating you or just make sure no one is trying to you know misconstrued a situation um, but it does seem if if anything like that comes in it is temporary energy so they're going to be in and out so you don't have to worry about that so it could just be someone that isn't very good for you coming into your life and it's time to make them less of a priority and less in your life here um, if you can or if you aren't able to because there's someone like in your family or someone you can't really get away from that you feel like they manipulate you emotionally especially since that's coming up here and the cage here just make sure um, and realize that um, there may be the gift of someone at least recognizing that that's happening and hearing you out this week so that's really good to see you also have here the charm of the changing up your style changing up your space changing something up on a more material level so like my best friend actually gave me this charm because she used it when she was changing up her style and so then her style even changed again and she decided to give this to me because she didn't need it anymore so it's just could be that you're purging clothes purging things that you don't need items that are just making your energy stiff and um caged and just ugh So definitely change things up if you need to this week. And lastly, you have the energy of believing in yourself like Simba does because he believes he's a king at this little young age and he's um, so sweet and youthful. So maybe you need some of that youthful energy coming in too of not always having it right, not knowing everything, but believing in yourself and that you can do whatever is possible for this practicality to come in in a temperance way. 
So with all of that said, I'm going to go ahead and do a recap here. You just have at this moment too many commitments and it's time to be patient because a new opportunity is coming in and coming your way or at least that you're going to have the opportunity to figure out where you're wanting to go in a less like intense way, right? Like you're not going to overanalyze it, um, but rather do it in a practical way, mixing like we have with this uh, temperance, temperance card of mixing hot and cold, mixing not only the practical, but also with the just believing in yourself, trying something new, flip that coin, be more intuitive, or just play around, feel more inspired by the commitments you have versus feeling like they are only practical. Um, and then you also had patience. So there are new things coming in. Do not jump the gun. Let that belief in yourself come in. Um, and make sure that no one is also trying to misconstrued your path by manipulating you this week so definitely look out for anybody like that who's attention seeking or something but the heart of it is temperance this week for you and patience so with all of that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading here with me today. Um, if you did, please be sure to give it a like. I really do appreciate it. Um, it helps this channel continue to grow and also lets me know that you enjoyed this reading here with me today. And to those of you who are also interested in letting me know what you thought of the charms or into what this specific reading meant for you, feel free to let me know in a comment down below. I love the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. And even if you guys just want to tell me something nice um, about your day or something you're grateful for, I'm always interested. So thank you to those of you who have commented on the video. And lastly, if you are new to the channel and this is one of your very first readings here with me, welcome. I do readings like this every single Monday as well as timeless and monthly blessings videos that you can check out as well and I'm currently doing private readings as well on your 2021 that you can check out on my Instagram so if you're interested in any of that feel free to subscribe and join this tarot and charm loving community I'd love to have you guys here to join in on all the fun so with all of that said I will see you guys in the next one bye Hello group three, if you've decided to choose this piece of Zerite, then this is the pile for you. I'm going to go ahead and set that down right here for you so you can see it during your reading. As today, we are going to be using the charms, the watercolor affirmations. We're also going to be using the Sea Melodies deck, the Spell Casting Oracle. And today, the deck of choice is this beautifully illustrated and magical deck of the Everyday Witch Tarot. So we're going to go ahead and bring some of that in and spice some of that magic into your week. But let's go ahead and see what you have coming in for your week group three. So group three, group three, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in for group three for their week ahead. What do we have here? So you have here the eight of wands. Let's see what else you have coming in. Group three. Oh my goodness. Group three. So you have two others here that just decide to sort of like accordion out of the six of swords and the three of pentacles here. So you have the three of pentacles, the eight of wands, and the six of swords. Interesting combination. So let's see what else you have with your next oracle message wow that was so fast okay so you have here rescue help others in need or ask for assistance when you need it and this deck was making sure you knew this so make sure you ask for help this week that's definitely coming forward um, and let's go ahead and look at your next message here from the spell casting oracle so group three group three we're looking for any information energy insights or guidance coming in all right so you also have here justice so it looks like this justice and we'll go ahead and get your final message here from the watercolor affirmations but stay tuned later in the reading as we will be doing your reading on the charms so group three, group three, we're looking for <laughs> information, energy, insights, or guidance. Um, you are manifesting came up here. So you have you are manifesting or you're wish crafting or you're working towards something having to do with manifestation or working with the energy of the earth and yourself. 
um, so that is or the universe rather and yourself to manifest something forward but let's go ahead and start deep diving into your messages group three so first off you have a very fast-paced week happening for you because you have the eight of wands which is this beautiful tornado happening of power and fury and just fast-paced energy that the eight of wands brings to the table it is quick it is fast it also talks about messages as well coming in fast so if you're waiting on a message waiting on an email waiting on something to happen that you are manifesting it may come a lot quicker than you are expecting or that you're going to bring power and more power to it that you are manifesting or wishcrafting or working towards or even just on the physical realm too if you're just trying to get a package out there that you're going to try to send it quicker or try to really work on that this week of trying to get that stuff out quicker this week so that's definitely coming in here for you um, if you need help on that too be sure to ask for help or work with a group this week because you also have here the three of pentacles and the three of pentacles talks about working with a team right and there's critique here too so it's not just working with a team that always knows you or always has um, this positive outlook on everything that you do it's also people who give you constructive criticism so maybe you need some constructive criticism you need someone to step back from your work and really analyze it and look at it or just to work as a team for something that you need help with at this time maybe something to do more legally or something to do with um, something that has to do with justice um, so working on a on a project having to do with social justice or with advocation or something like that that you're advocating for someone or for something that's coming in and you're working together as a team as a united front as something that is very powerful when put together and can create this tornado of fury and possibility that comes in here with the eight of wands and lastly here you have the six of swords and the six of swords talks about moving right so the six of swords means you're moving towards something that is unknown to you you may not know what is is coming or where you're heading or what your purpose is and where you're going but you are heading somewhere you're deciding that where you were previously was not serving you whatever if that's a mental state if you're trying to move to a new mental state a new emotional state or literally physically moving your your place so you may be moving to a new home a new apartment a new city or just moving in that way the six of swords also talks about um, not only moving towards something that didn't work and moving towards something better even if it's unknown you already know that it's going to be better for you but it also talks about movement in general and seeing as you have movement also happening here with the eight of wands and like that social justice movement sort of rise too i seriously do see you also working towards something just more linear that is like um exercising or working towards a physical change in movement so maybe you guys are learning to take up running or to take up um, dancing or to take up even maybe in a creative sense too um, or maybe it is yoga or something like that that you are learning something new on a physical realm as well um, so that's also coming in and you may be manifesting that because they may have come from a goal that you've had possibly for you know new year's resolutions but be careful make sure that you are doing it for yourself as well not for the group not because everyone is telling you you need to have this perfect body or something like that but make sure that what you are are doing is because it is for the highest good and for balance for you all three piles do talk about balance this week so that must be a running theme for everyone in the collective is balance finding that temperance energy, finding that balance between this and that, um, and trying to balance something out. But yours has more to do with social justice or balancing something on a social level with others whom you are working with constructively or moving towards. But there is power and a lot of power in your week. Um, but where are you going to wield it? Is it to help others, help yourself, or for something that you are manifesting? Um, make sure that you, with power, you know, comes great responsibility. So be sure that you're using it in a responsible and respectful way. So with all of that said, I'm going to go ahead and move on to your charms group three. Because honestly, your group just, it had 
it was very simple. Like sometimes I get groups where I'm like trying to get all of the the imagery and everything said but you guys you have a very simple week though fast um so i definitely want to see some more details here with the charms so group three group three you're looking for any information energy insights or guidance coming in for group three for the week ahead week ahead for group three Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up the ones that fell upside down here, and then we can start really analyzing everything that is here within your week, um, and look more deeply into these messages. Okay, you have a very, like, you know, sometimes I cast and it's, like, all in one clump, but yours was very much spread out, so this energy has more modules to it um but i'm gonna go ahead and assume you in group three here so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so first off we were talking about here in the central ring about manifestation right so if you guys are not familiar with manifesting or if you aren't familiar with just the concept of like law of attraction or wish crafting or anything like that some sort of form of manifestation though it comes from a different name it is about working with the universe and asking the universe for something and then trying to wish craft or manifest it forward so it's both effort on your part and effort on a spiritual sense that's coming in or using the universe's energy to manipulate towards a goal that you are after so you have here with you are manifesting you're manifesting something forward because you've asked for it or you have some sort of energy that you're putting forth towards it because you have here the magical mickey hat which makes me think that some of you may be more spiritual or magical and if you are not um familiar with which part of that you are, which part of spiritual gifts or abilities or magic that you could be working with, feel free to check my spiritual magical gifts and abilities out for you guys, that reading that I did. But for those of you who already know what you use and you already know you have a goal that you've been manifesting, it is being manifested this week or is coming towards you this week um, by the actions that you are doing. Um, you also have the commitment charm coming up in the central ring, which makes me think of pile two as well. So feel free to check out pile two um, if you're interested more on this commitment energy. But um, excuse me, I had a cough there. But uh, group two also had commitments showing up and this can talk about commitments on a like marriage level or it can be talking about legal commitments or legal things that are that you are legally committed to doing so maybe there is something on a career um not even a career sense but like bills or a more financial sense or something like that that's coming in because you had like i said that justice card so you may just have commitments to help others or to help someone in need at this time and you are very committed to working towards that and manifesting good for them alongside that you also have again more of that black and white charm which talks about working with both the black and the white so you're working with two different sides of a story you're working with two different levels of it or looking at you know it in more than one perspective than just black and white here um, you're trying to find that gray area and that's showing up here with the sort of Queen of Wands energy, and she is very magical, the Queen of Wands, but she is also here just a general, a queen or someone you feel loyal to, or you are bringing loyalty towards someone whom you are helping, um, or they feel loyal to you and which they want to help you to unlock something, to manifest something, or to unlock something within you. So there is some sort of element of unlocking or finding that key. Um, coming in here and that has to do with that social justice or to do with just what it is that you're looking between these two lines and blurring it um, and you also have here both the penny and the dime um, so this can talk about 
just in general finances, prosperity, those sorts of elements? And how are you helping someone maybe even raise funds? So you may be working with a fundraiser or something like that where you're trying to raise funds or in general trying to help someone on a financial level or have someone help you on a financial level, which is giving me a lot of that like um, um, the energy of the five of pentacles. Um, so you also have here next to all of these charms, maybe what you're trying to fundraise with or work with is through music. Um, so you have music coming in here. So maybe it's a concert or something like that, or you're listening to someone whom is donating towards a good cause or some sort of musical artist that you work with or artist in general that isn't just musically inclined. But the other thing that I like about this is it's doubling the beat, making things faster too, because it's like two quarter, quarter notes. You're trying to, to double something up. You're trying to get it a lot faster and bring in those eighth notes, um, which makes me think of the eight of wands, right? Because you're trying to make something manifest faster. You're trying to make something happen faster. So you're trying to get those funds in. You're trying to figure out two sides of that story. You're trying to have that magically inclined energy come in faster to open and unlock something that you've been looking for or trying to manifest. So that is definitely coming in. You have more air energy beyond just this eight of wands, which gives me more of an airy vibe, though it is a wands card. Um, because of this tornado. So you have air energy coming in here with the feathers. The feather can talk about angels working with you, other sorts of winged spirit guides or spiritual team that you work with. Um, so signs could be coming in through a feather, but the feather also does talk about to cleansing a space because you can use a feather to cleanse a space or to also bring in messages and signs, which we talked about also with the eight of wands that you may be trying to get emails or messages or have something like that come in for you. So that is also being directed here. Um, that energy is being directed this way towards peace. Um, towards the energy of showing your face too. So maybe that is FaceTiming with someone or, or actually having messages come in about seeing someone face to face um, or meeting with someone um, over technological face to face sort of energy there. So either through lives, through FaceTimes, through seeing them over the internet or in person, though be safe please as always. Um, but that is coming in. But I am getting a don't travel at this time. So you have the um, charm of traveling and then you have it flipped the other way. So it's showcasing me to, that it's not really the time to be doing any traveling or adventuring. So it may not be the time to be seeing someone face to face as that would be a more naive thing to do for you at this time because you have the youthful, young, yet naive charm of Simba here. And you have the peace charm. So even though you have a lot of power, like I was saying earlier, you have the power to maybe go see someone right now. You have the opportunity. It may not be the right thing to be doing for you at this time. It may not be the the best decision here for you and for another person. And it may be a more peaceful one to stay home, to stay safe, and to be better about the way that you are communicating and bringing signs to them. Um, even if you're wanting to manifest something, maybe even with them, if they are also magically or spiritually inclined, it may just not be the time to do it that way. And you may have to get a little bit more crafty there in your magic or in the way that you communicate, especially since you might be meeting up, like I said, with meetings or having some sort of critique um, of like critical thinking or constructive criticism showing up here with this three of pentacles so like I said it just may not be the time for that um not that you can't have this come forward just may not be in a travel sense or adventure sense in that way um and maybe you'll be signing petitions or doing other social work off um online versus offline you also have here the page of or not page the ace of pentacles rather so the ace of pentacles talks about um a new opportunity coming in on a financial sense on a career sense or a new opportunity that is in your site um that you can see here that you want to use for career, for prosperity, or for something like that, maybe even an idea to help on that sense. Um, and you may be talking to someone about what you're wanting to do here with this Queen of Wands energy, with this social justice energy, with these commitments, and that may be coming in in the form of maybe getting financial help to do so. 
Um, you also have the growth charm of the flower. So you are growing, you are manifesting growth this week, maybe in your magic or growth in that you are flowering, you're blooming, right? So you are in your prime moment this week. Um, you are at your be most beautiful this week. So it may be that you're taking care of yourself on a more beautifying sense or um, vanity wise or something like that. But it also can just be in general that this is just like your golden age, your golden sun. This is your moment in time. And that's coming in and being clarified to others at this time. They feel that energy. They feel that radiating, that confidence that comes from a blooming moment. And also, because it has these colors that are very similar to the you are manifesting, um, it does showcase to me that you are manifesting something with confidence, so that's what's going to help it continue to manifest. Because some people talk about manifestation like, I just asked for what I want, the universe will do it, and then I, I put in the effort and also get it. Um, but it has to come from also feeling confident enough the magic in the magic that you are doing and working towards. You can't just ask for it and not and put in the effort but if you're not feeling confident when you ask you know it's you're going to feel more timid and you're going to tell the the energy is going to be there of timid of unconfident of doubt so make sure that you're feeling confident in what you're wanting to bloom and manifest here and lastly here you have temporary energy coming in although there's not really much around it so just in general if you feel like you need that message of that everything is temporary or this will be temporary that is coming in for you and then you also have the charm of the more winged spirits or working with wings um spiritual team or anything like that that has to do with like birds but birds also talk about messages so again there is a message that's coming in for you through email through your friends through your family through your place anything like that it could be even something that's being delivered to you um, like I said you might be having to get more crafty about where you're going um, or where you're not going rather on this adventure um, of traveling and so how are you going to get a package to them how are you going to correspond with them and that may be changing at this time all right, so I feel like I have everything said here, so I'm going to go ahead and do a recap here for you, group three. Like I said, there's some sort of justice, social justice, advocacy, fundraising, something like that that's coming in here, or in general, just the energy of balance, balancing your life, finding a balance within what you are doing and seeking at this time to create that manifestation to working on both sides, working with the universe as well as working um, on your side of it that comes from the manifestation energy but there's something that you're balancing or bringing social justice to you also have something that you are move there's some sort of movement either movement in house movement in your body and your space or in general purging or moving something that you need that you that is not for your highest good anymore so that you can become more evolved for your highest good and bloom you also have here rescue, help others in need or ask for assistance if you need it. So if you're trying to balance out your finances, balance out something on a more musically inclined thing, or just in general, ask for someone that emanates the queen of wands energy of magic or asking for mentorship in magic or in general, giving that help towards someone who needs it, that mentorship, that's coming up as well, that you're getting rescue or being rescued in that sense. Um, not that you necessarily always need it, but when you do, be sure that you ask for it. You also had the Eight of Wands here, which talks about power. So making sure that there isn't an, an a abuse of power um, and making sure that the power that you wield is for the highest good of all as well as yourself and as well as others, especially within your magic, especially within the social justice, and also the power that you have to speak to others if it is a peaceful way or a way that is not going to benefit the whole of the team in which you are helping. So make sure to use a critical eye this week. Make sure you are critiquing your actions um, if they are for the highest and greatest good of yourself so that you can balance things out. So that's also coming in. You also have messages from angels or winged sort of spirits coming in. You're manifesting something and that's also coming in, which is really exciting. And you also have that ace of pentacles. So some new idea or opportunity on a financial or career level that you may be moving towards. So with all of that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading here with me today. You guys had really interesting magical energy, which I thought was really fun to read. 
feel free to give this video a like if you really did like this reading and it was helpful to you. It really does help this channel continue to grow and I enjoy the support, so thank you so much. I truly do appreciate it. Also, if you feel like having a little chit chat with the community down below in the comments, I'd love to know what you guys thought about these charms, if there were any certain ones that really struck you or any of the imagery, I'd love to know. And in general, if you just want to put something positive about your week or something like that down in the comments, I'd appreciate it and they'd love to hear. And lastly, if you are new to the channel and this is one of your very first readings here with me, huge, huge warm welcome. It's lovely to have you guys here in this new year of 2021 and within this week. Um, just so you know, I do readings like this every single Monday. I also do timeless readings like the one I mentioned on your spiritual and magical gifts and abilities as well as others. And I also do readings on your monthly blessings that you can check out as well. So if you're interested in any of that or the private readings that I have going on right now for your 2021, feel free to go to my Instagram for that. Um, but if you're interested in any of the things that I do here, feel free to subscribe and join this wonderful tarot and charm loving community that is so warm and welcoming. I'd love to have you guys here as well. So with all of that said, I'll go ahead and leave you here. Enjoy your week. Um, have fun with everything that's going on here. Make sure to balance things out and I will see you in the next one. Bye.